Hello, we're sitting at Bella Union Bar with Alice Fraser. Welcome to Melbourne International Comedy Festival. You're from Sydney. I am from Sydney. Uh, yes. uh, what have you been doing since you got in? I, I arrived on the day that my show started, Ooh. so I've just been bam, 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 flyering, flyering, doing the show, just the whole... How do you find a little bit of flyering? It's soul destroying. <laughs> it's just absolutely. And I've, I've started doing this thing where I just hand someone on the flyer and go, that's me. So if they reject it, it's like, oh. <laughs> That's the problem. I, I did not put my face on my flyer this year because it is too, it's too personal to hand someone your face, your face and then and they just throw. go, ah, nah, not that face. The, the worst is there, yeah. But mainly people are quite nice when you say it's you and they'll take it and put it in their breast pocket and then keep you forever. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about food on a cooking show. Uh, any sad Melbourne International Comedy Festival meals? It's a very busy time for artists. We don't we don't eat well when we're out for a month. No, it's a terrible it's a terrible thing to do to your body. I am always actually of the school of people who tends to eat ingredients rather than meals. Mm -hmm. So if I'm hungry, I sort of grab a carrot and an apple and like a piece of bread and yeah, it's almost a cake. Yeah, it's almost a cake <laughs> exactly. Uh, but that becomes even worse during Melbourne Comedy Festival. I tend to just sort of think about what I've had and none of them come together in any kind of coherent way. The other good thing is like if you're in the CBD at about four or five they start discounting corporate food and so you get sort of sushi rolls quite yeah. cheaply or whatever that's quite nice. You uh, used to live quite a corporate life. I did. That I, used was, I saw last year's show. <laughs> yeah I used to be a corporate lawyer that's what my last show was oh, about. Oh man. Uh, How did you find that? Paying nine dollars for a sandwich? No. Uh, <laughs> well, you can afford nine dollars for a sandwich. Yeah, and you feel like you have to spend the money because you're making it in such a soul-destroying way that you're like, I deserve this nine dollar <laughs> sandwich. So uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't have that much money anymore. But I have so much more happiness. Yeah, not as many sandwiches. No, fewer sandwiches. But who <laughs> wants a sandwich anyway? Uh, so last year's show I, I watched uh, was about kind of your transition from uh, corporate world to the artistic world. What's, what's been the biggest changes aside from $9 sandwiches? Um, I have so much more freedom. I really like what I'm doing. I feel like I, in, in a weird way, I feel like I have a, a more direct impact on the world. Mm -hmm. and I can say what I want to say and I don't have to straighten my hair. <laughs> they made you straighten your hair? They, no, they didn't make me, they just subtly pressured me by talking to like, when we'd talk, they'd just be looking there and then they'd say things like, have you thought about straightening that? I just think it would make you look more professional. And you'd go, oh. It just grows out of your head. You can't really change what Just because it's coming out of your head doesn't mean it's manifesting the inside of your brain. You can <laughs> have corporate thoughts without a corporate hairstyle. Anyway, Fair so. Enough. Fair enough. Are uh, you enjoying this year's festival? Have seen anything good? Uh, I have. I've seen, like I said, I've seen absolutely nothing. I've mm. just come in and hit the ground really running hard. But in the second week, I'm going to see a bunch of people. I'll probably see uh, your show. Yes. <laughs> I'll see what Michael Workman. I'll probably see Sammy J and Randy. I'll see whoever I can. Excellent. I think once I have a little, once I'm not just sweating and shaking before the show and sweating and shaking <coughs> after the show, <laughs> after that, I'll be, I'll be able to see other people. No one wants anyone sweating and shaking in their audience. No, it's, it's upsetting. It's too personal. Uh, what's your favourite thing about Comedy Festival time? My favourite thing about Comedy Festival is the people. Oh, that sounds super cheesy. That's no, okay. My worst quality is that I work too hard. No, uh, <laughs> th th just you get to see all these amazing people Definitely. doing what they're good at and, and that's amazing. That's a, like, that's a beautiful thing. How would you recommend somebody who'd never attended the Melbourne Comedy Festival before spend their first, their first evening with us? I would say go down to the town hall, mm -hmm. look at the board, pick one show from somebody that you have seen before and liked mm -hmm. and pick one show from someone you haven't seen at all. Excellent. And not everyone's up on the board. Not everyone's up on the board, and they'll, but they'll be around there. They'll yeah. be flyering they'll be, you. They'll be handing out their faces. Just take someone's face. You don't yeah, have whoever to you it. feel like a proper connection with, go with them, because that's often the best clue as to whether you'll like their comedy, if it's personal comedy. There's very few people who are really pleasant who'll do, <laughs> who'll say things on stage that are going to make you feel very upset. Yes. yes. So. I want them to go back and cut that sentence to uh, out of context. There are yeah, very few people who are at. Well, that's true. There are very <laughs> few people. There's seven billion people in the world and most of them are Terrible. Awful. Most of Terrible them are just people. really upsetting. So uh, tell us a little bit more about your show. 
Okay, so last year's show was about why I left the corporate law mm. and I was kind of dealing with this intense thing about what you want to do with your life. And then I thought, I'm just going to write the happiest, easiest access, just fun, <laughs> punchlines full show. And I yeah. started Call writing it. I started writing it. I started writing it. And then my mum was diagnosed with cancer. And the show <laughs> is not that show anymore. It's a different show. It's a show that I'm really proud of, but uh, it's... Yeah, there's a lot more of me in it than I had originally planned. How are you finding performing uh, a very personal show like that? I really don't know if it's healthy. Healthy? <laughs> but it's like people like it. Yes. And I like it, but I don't know what the long term impact is. Yeah, gonna be. I've spoken to quite a few comics who, uh, yeah, when they're doing a show about personal experiences that maybe cut a little bit too close to the bone. Uh, Oh yeah, I love the show, and then you give them maybe three, four weeks, and like, oh, I might never do it again. So definitely get down and see it while you still yeah, well, have the emotional strength to hold it in the air. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of it. I like it a lot, but yeah, it hurts. Uh, what do you like to do in your downtime? What's what's not comedy that you uh, enjoy? The other day, I went to a, a bouncing like like a trampoline arena. That was a lot of a fun. A trampoline. A tra tra trampoline arena. <laughs> Is that how they're billing it? That's how they. That's. Right, I'm yeah. going to call them, give them some marketing strategy. I'm sure. Yeah, it's a, it's like a bouncing warehouse. <laughs> like just a just an empty lot full of trampolines. It's like a nightmare, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I've had that nightmare. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It does smell like sweat. Well, uh, what we'll get you to do is barrel your camera. I would like you to uh, spruik one other person's show and then spruik yours. <sighs> just one. Just pick it out of that. <laughs> Michael Workman, we have fun, don't we? Go see it. It's good. It's a hot, it's a hot. <laughs> and yours? Uh, my show is Savage at 8.30 at the Mercure Hotel on Swanson Street. Excellent. Thank you so much for having a chat with us. I'll see you around the town hall with our sad face flyers. Both of you.